Welcome to the USC Information Sciences Institute Deep Fake Detection Demo. This demo illustrates a system based on our paper, Two Branch Recurrent Network for Isolating Deep Fakes in Videos, presented at the European Conference on Computer Vision 2020. The primary contributions of our system are as follows a two branch recurrent architecture, and novel loss function for better isolating deep fakes which produces good balance between bias and variance, especially at low false alarm rates. The paper illustrates state-of-the-art performance on the Face Forensics++ dataset and shows generalization abilities in cross-dataset testing, such as CelebDF and Facebook's Deep Face Detection Challenge preview dataset. Now, let's check out our demo. The user logs into the system with username and password credentials provided by an administrator. The home page provides the capability to upload and process new videos and displays the history of previously processed videos. Processing history includes customizable and sortable metadata fields. The user can upload a selected video to assess whether it has been tampered or generated by a deep neural network. The user can preview video as shown in the top left to verify if it is the intended video. This is something else. This is stellar. This is, uh, <laughs> this is interstellar. The user can then click to upload a video once they're sure that they want to submit this video for forensic analysis. The spinning animation shows that the video is being uploaded and disappears as soon as the upload is complete. In the background, the video is queued for processing by our deep fake detection neural network. Because this is computationally expensive and depends on the length of the video, the user does not have to wait for results, but will receive an email notification when results are ready. The user can simply click the URL embedded in the email to view results or refresh the page. As you can see, the newly processed video now appears in the history of previously processed videos. As we start playing the results, the system predicts that the presenter is an authentic face, while the actor on stage has been manipulated. Now, Let's check out another processed video. What do you do for a living? Lots of things. Where's your office? I don't have one. The detection result is presented in the uploaded video, augmented with two manipulation indicators. The first indicator is a progress bar superimposed on top of the video. It is heat bar color-coded with a gradient from green to red. As illustrated in the legend above the video, the gradient encodes the likelihood for a video segment to be manipulated. If the gradient is more greenish, it means that the system predicts that the video segment is authentic. On the other hand, if the gradient turns to the red side, it indicates that the system predicts that the video segment has likely been manipulated. Segments of the video where the system is uncertain about its authenticity are represented with an orange color. Furthermore, as you can see from the legend on the right, if no face is detected in the video segment, the progress bar will simply be white. The user can assess the progress of the video either using the video player progress bar at the bottom of the frame or by looking at the small turquoise bar that runs along the main progress bar at the top. On top of offering results at a glance, we also localize which face is currently being analyzed by the system. To do that, the system superimposes a small vertical bar next to the processed face. The face bar is color-coded with the same gradient, from green, indicating a real face, to red, indicating a manipulated face. You can see that the system is detecting that this actor's face is possibly authentic, while in the case of the other actor, the system is uncertain about the authenticity of the face. Using the progress bar, we can go back and localize the most suspicious part of the video and inspect the face visually. In this case, the system is reporting a strong likelihood that the face has been manipulated. Indeed, upon inspection, we realize that the author of the video realistically swapped Sylvester Stallone's face onto Macaulay Culkin. Finally, our deep face detection service is equipped with a user management system that lets each user manage their own videos. An admin user can log in and grant access to new users 
or check current registered users. We can invite new users with their email addresses and give them the opportunity to upload videos. Once the invite is sent, the user will receive a link to register. After completing registration, they can access the system with their new credentials and be able to upload new videos. This work was funded by the DARPA Media Forensics Program. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the authors.